Its origins are woven with stories of ancient gods, tales of good and evil, love and heartbreak, death and resurrection. It's a victim of myth and misconception, but also the symbol of a proud tradition. It can only be produced from one ingredient grown in only one area. For those with a more discriminating palate, it's become a unique spirit to be savored with friends. What is this nectar of the gods that for centuries has delighted the senses and inspired the imagination? It's tequila. Now, with Tequila Rack, International Tasting Group is pleased to introduce you to the very best of Mexico's boutique tequila brands. According to ancient Aztec mythology, tequila was born from the death of a beautiful woman, a casualty of a war between good and evil. After her death, a plant sprouted from her burial site, a plant into which the gods instilled a liquid that, when consumed, could provide comfort and ease painful memories. For generations, natives fermented the plant's juices to produce a drink called pulque. In the 16th century, the Spanish came to the region and introduced the distillation process, but banned the production of tequila. Nonetheless, the natives distilled their spirit secretly. Centuries later, tequila came to symbolize a newly independent Mexico. Tequila is a distilled drink made from the fermented juices extracted from the heart of the Blue Weber agave plant. The tequila agave, native to the high altitudes of the state of Jalisco in Mexico and parts of surrounding municipalities. Agave is a large succulent plant with sharp pointed leaves measuring six to seven feet long and a fleshy core that lies close to the ground. After the plant has ripened, somewhere between seven and 12 years, the process called hema takes place. The harvest includes chopping away the leaves to clear the core, known as the piña, which is Spanish for pineapple, but known to many as the heart. Timing is critical. If harvested too soon, the plant won't produce enough sugar for distillation. Wait too long, and the plant will have spent its sugars, sending out a long stem, or quiote, which produces seeds. The piñas, which average 65 to 135 pounds, are cut in half and roasted in autoclaves for 8 to 12 hours. They can also be roasted in stone or brick ovens or in steam rooms for 24 to 36 hours. The plant starches are converted into sugars during the process, and the sugars are extracted from the agave fibers by shredding. The cooked agave goes through rolling mills, sprayed by pressurized water, then the juices are pressed out, producing what's known as musto fresco and put into fermenting vats. This is when the decision is made to produce 100% agave tequila or a lesser quality of tequila known as mixto. Water is added, as well as yeast. The yeast initiates the fermentation process, converting the sugars in the musto fresco into alcohol. The mixture is now called musto muerto. Fermentation lasts many hours and differs among factories due to the standards that each one has established. The mixture is then distilled twice to produce tequila. Each distillery has its closely guarded secrets, production and aging methods that give its brand of tequila a unique color and taste. Generally, tequilas fall into two categories. Tequila is known as mixto and tequila 100% agave. As the name implies, mixto is a mixture of at least 51% agave with the balance made up of other sugars. It's the less expensive tequila that's used for margaritas and shots that burn the tequila most people know. But the fine tequilas that earn the tequila 100% agave designation can only be made from 100% Weber Blue agave sugars. A nonprofit organization called the Consejo Regulador de Tequila, or CRT, carefully regulates and inspects tequila 100% agave production to verify its quality and authenticity. Tequila is an appellation of origin product, like champagne, cognac, or bourbon. That means that tequila 100% agave can only be produced from blue agave grown in the specified regions of Mexico, primarily within the state of Jalisco and in parts of four other Mexican states. All the brands from the tequila rack are tequila 100% agave. Initially, we will be offering reposados from several different producers. Later, we will introduce blancos, añejos, and extra añejos. In fact, we work closely with the CRT to ensure that all of our brands meet only the highest quality standards. By now you may be thinking, I know what tequila is, I've had it before. 
The fact is, there are all kinds of myths about tequila. Tequila is made from cactus juice, right? As you've seen, 100% agave tequilas can only be made from the fermented and distilled juices of the Weber Blue Agave. That's Mexican law. Agave and cacti may share the same environment, but agave is not a species of cactus. In fact, it is actually related to the lily. Is mezcal a type of tequila? Just the opposite. Tequila is a type of mezcal. As we noted, tequila can only be produced from a specific plant in a specific location in Mexico. Other spirits, produced from any other agave plant or in other regions, are called mezcal. Do they put a worm in tequila bottles? Definitely not. No brands of tequila have a worm in the bottle. In some mezcals, though, you'll find a chewy little moth larvae that lore has it was placed in the bottle to test the strength of the liquid, but never, ever in tequila. Gold tequilas are better than silver ones, right? Not necessarily. You can't judge a tequila only by its color. Most gold tequilas are mixto tequilas that have been artificially colored. Fine, aged, 100% agave tequilas, called reposados, añejos, or extra añejos, gain their golden color from aging in wooden barrels. In the same way, most clear tequilas that are labeled silver are mixto brands, while the finer, 100% agave style is labeled blanco or white. The important thing to look out for on a label is that it says tequila 100% agave. Does tequila really make you hallucinate? No. The hallucination myth comes from the similarity between the words mezcal, which is a distilled spirit made from many types of smoked agave, and mescaline, a hallucinogenic chemical found in peyote. In the world of super premium spirits, International Tasting Group is unique. Our purpose is to bring together collections of the finest spirits, to give you information about their nature and background, and to guide you in choosing brands you can enjoy with your family and friends. International Tasting Group isn't about image. It's about giving you choices and introducing you to a whole new world of possibilities. Our first offering is Tequila Rack. In assembling this collection, we've traversed the tequila region of Mexico to find the finest artisan-made tequilas. But in addition to offering you premium tequilas, we're also providing background on how they're made, the different varieties, and how tequila should be tasted. We'll show you the proper way to taste fine tequila, what to look for, how to evaluate the aroma, flavor, texture, temperature, spice, and overall balance of each variety. We'll give you all the tools to host your own tequila tasting party, which glasses to use, the proper temperature for tasting, how to cleanse your palate between tastings, and much more. Our goal is to create a community of tequila aficionados who can share their thoughts on our website, tequilarack.com. We're also assembling groupings of other spirits and wines into other racks. Whichever spirits and wine you choose to explore, you can be sure that with International Tasting Group, you'll be tasting the best authentic brands and you'll be joining a select group of discriminating consumers. So welcome to Tequila Rack and get ready to explore the pleasure of the nectar of the gods.